so uh, as usual, uh, let's start off by looking uh, at some character cosmetics. <laughs> so uh, Christmas, of course. So uh, Christmas sweaters, as always, which is great. Yeah, we've got the classic reindeer, uh, cheesy Christmas jumper going on there. I think that jumper should have won award. <laughs> I mean, that's that, 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 that's award material right there, right? Uh, yeah, so it's it's holiday season. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got lots of festive things that Kira has lined up for the uh, festival goers. So how players going to unlock this? So this particular item will be in the uh, in the Falls of Fun shop during right. the, okay. the first week of Series Four. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff. Some of it will be in the shop. Some of it will be up for grabs from um, our seasonal championships. Fantastic. But also the boots, uh, the furry boots that yes. she's got on there. The non-branded furry boots. Yeah, right. she, you'll be able to grab those from uh, from Team Team Adventure in Series Four as well. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's uh, swap through here and look at some of the other things that we've got lined up. Um, uh, coming through. Cool. So, uh, so there are the boots. Yeah, another couple of boots. Uh, yeah, those are also coming from uh, seasonal championships. That's right. Yeah, and um, the antlers. Uh, the of antlers, course. yes. Uh, the elf hat. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Anything else uh, seasonal? The Santa. Of course. That's yeah. that's great. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, and there are, there's more stuff. There's um, what's over in noses. Um, yeah, good question. Let's have a look. Yep, got a reindeer nose to go with the uh, with the antlers there. And th that does. Oh, she's modelling that very yeah. nicely for us. Fantastic. And, and and that nose is is a lot of fun if it's uh, if it's dark. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, right. <laughs> well, it, it glows in the dark, of course, because Rudolph, right? <laughs> I, I have no idea how that got through the pitch music, but never mind, it's great. <clears throat> um, down in our outfits section. And two specific Christmas-themed outfits uh, yeah. that are just crazy. Obviously, you can, you can combine that with the, with the hat we mm -hmm. had on. Um, and a Santa outfit as well. Looking good. Yes. Cool. That is fantastic. Okay, um, so let's uh, back out of this uh, and uh, take a look at uh, uh, the other uh, feature that we are going to talk about initially here, which is photo mode. Cool, shall I hand over to you? Absolutely. Matt? Yeah, Matt, so, you want to take us through a little bit uh, yeah. what we've added in and Absolutely. what it does? All right, first of all, hang on. Let's get the. Uh... All right, so, park the car. We're going to go into uh, photo mode now. So, uh, now we've kind of rolled off the, um, the production of the full game, we've had some time to sort <coughs> of start looking at. Um, features that we want to get added to, mm -hmm. to the game. Um, so um, one of those things was uh, photo mode and things that we wanted to do with that. So um, we've asked um, a couple of members of the community about yep. things we can, um, we can um, add to that and we've had some really great um, feedback. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to go in there now. Uh, it's Absolutely. Worth, it's worth saying as well, um, this is... Can we just do the privacy thing? Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Sure. Yes, a quick interruption there because obviously, uh, even though this is a dev account, uh, it's uh, it's uh, visible, and obviously everyone, it seems, has decided that uh, everyone wants time to be our friend tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, we'll, we'll just switch off the notifications because, by all means, feel free to be friends with a dev account. You can't actually see anything when 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 you're trying to connect with a dev account. This is in an entirely different server environment. But I mean, hey, uh, by all means, uh, let's um, let's uh, connect people there. That's great. Mm -hmm. But um, so. Yeah, we're talking about uh, the the stuff that's been added. To yeah, so the stuff that's been added. So um, it's worth calling out um, one of our um, newest rendering engineers, Sam Potter, mm -hmm. who's um, not long been on the team, but he's actually already done um, most of the work in getting all this stuff added. So um, it's just worth calling him out for mm -hmm. the hard work that he's done. Uh, it's going to be um, really good to show everyone what he's been right. up to. Right. And the specific stuff that he was working on, it was uh, some uh, some some temperature settings that you could apply. Yeah, there's a couple of stuff. That, there's a couple of stuff that we'll run through in a second. Um, mm -hmm. um, um, so there, there are a couple of um, photographic changes that we, we've added that mm -hmm. are quite nice features, but there's also some, some really big sort of fan requested changes that we've also gone through as well. Yes, because um, I mean, this, this game has a, has, has a great uh, and quite vocal community of, of people who, who, who use it to shoot absolutely incredible pictures of our game. Mm. Absolutely. So, so um, but yeah, just uh, talking a little bit about a point you, you touched on, which is where post-launch now, and because this is a, a game that we work on, we actually have really the, the resources of really a whole team looking at things that... Uh, it's great, and it, it's great game. to kind of start going back through, through the game and, and, and make true on the promises of actually making the game mm -hmm. you know, better, which is what we've always set out to do. Yes, um, I mean, it's, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good game anyways, but I mean, there's always scope to go in and, and build things up, make it better. Absolutely. Great. 
Um, <clears throat> Nearly there. <We've> yes. <laughs> Thank you for your enthusiasm in sending us all these friend requests and messages. Um, there we go. We think? Great. I think we're there. Okay, let's try it again. What, should we go again? Right. Yes. Right, where was I? Um, we were talking about uh, photo mode. So photo mode, oh, so right, what the first thing I'll do is open up the effects mode and you'll see a bunch of new features there that weren't there before. So I'm just gonna run through them one by one. Mm -hmm. um, so shutter speed was already there. So focus mode, that's actually a returning feature from Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not moving the car, the car's not rolling at the moment, so you won't get the full benefit to this. Um, but what, what does it actually do? Essentially, that it allows you to switch between focusing on the car or the environment when, when the car's right, moving. So, so you, might, you might either have the car fully blurred or the environment fully blurred. Mm. It's a really quick quick toggle um, and an easy way to um, to actually change between that. Okay. Um, so again, focus, exposure and aperture are the same. New one is bokeh shape or bokeh shape, I'm not quite sure which one. Well, uh, for, for those of us who, who don't know what that means. Yeah, science bit. So um, that refers to um, the depth of field or, or the blur you tend to get through uh, photography. Mm -hmm. um, and the bokeh shape comes from what they call the aperture blades, which go around the lens. So the more, the more blades you get, the more circular you get. You get those little circular blobs, particularly at night. Um, mm -hmm. um, and the less blades you get, the more um, shapes you kind of get. So in the case okay. of this, we have circle which was the standard one but we also have diamond pentagon and hexagon so if i try and show this off it's a little bit bright but it should work so mm -hmm. i'll just focus on this crank the aperture up to about 34. right i mean I, I can see what it's doing with the lights in the background but... so yeah it won't be totally obvious when you're actually setting the shot but when you actually go and take Through the, the process, picture yeah. mm. and you actually hit the process um takes a short while, but you <coughs> should start to see it'll come through from some of, from some of the light sources, particularly like mm -hmm. those little lights in the background mm -hmm. you'll see there when it comes up. There we go. So you can see that they're actually yeah, nice yeah. neat, neat shapes. Yes. So that's one thing. Um, and that, uh, so we've also made some changes to the way that we sample and build those images, right? Yeah, so sampling um, is quite just a, a techie way of saying that um, it takes the picture multiple times, mm -hmm. um, and we've always done this. So, and again, you get a lot of benefits from this when the car's travelling at speed. So it will it will sample different points in time to mm -hmm. actually get that really nice motion blurs effects and, and other bits and pieces there. So what we were used to is, is the standard mm -hmm. sampling that we've got here, but then we also have um, a new one which is quality, which and we just added this. Yes, we've just added this one. So this is the one where it increases the amount of samples. Mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot longer, so I'm not going to demonstrate this okay. now, but. Um, it, it just makes you much cleaner, much nicer image. So if you get a shot that you really like, I recommend you go for that one. Okay. Okay. So and so I can also see there are some new options down at the bottom of the screen as well. Yeah. So we keep uh, <coughs> going down. A uh, couple of these ones have uh, existed already. So a new one we've got now is temperature. So oh. temperature or um, white balance, if you're into photography, essentially allows you to um, mm, make the shot yeah. cooler. Yes, really make it more wintry. Yeah. Whenever you want to eat, or go all the other way and actually um, warm the image right up. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be used um, great ways of again adding, making things feel cold and warm, but also to, to kind of offset. So if you're in a kind of a night environment such mm -hmm. as this, you can actually offset the lighting so it actually makes it um, more correct. Right. Um, and then, so we get down to the exciting ones now. Um, so car lights, um, any guesses what that's going to do? I think it'll probably switch the car lights off. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. It switched the car lights off. <laughs> so, you see the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't switch the nose off. It doesn't switch, but, but there's there a way is, to deal with that. There's a way to get rid of that, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, so that, that's one of the, one of the great things. Um, and just to skip down now, so drivers, well, in the past, uh, you know, when we, when we, We've had some great community photos. We noticed mm -hmm. there's a lot of times where they've, they've tried to hide the drivers like I'm doing now by mm -hmm. having yes. the camera just, <laughs> just like there, skillfully so. just hiding them behind there. Well, I'm more, well, that is a really distracting nose. Yes. Anyway, but switch drivers off. There we go, gone. <laughs> but there's some restrictions to how we can do this, right? Yeah, so th there is some small restrictions in that the car has to be stationary and all four <coughs> wheels have to be connected to the ground. Right. And it's, it's really just because we don't want the cars to, to look like they're autonomous and I don't think the license. Yes, so, the it, just, uh, really it, so it, it seems like something you, you could use to make some really gorgeous yeah. product pictures. It's great, yeah, it, it's really for those real production mm. shots, particularly when you're trying to show off new liveries that you've mm. created and things right. like that. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what the community comes up with. And we can also get the camera substantially closer to 
the car, get it higher into yeah. the air as well. There we go. So this is actually wow. a lot closer than we've actually been able to do in the past. Yes, that is much closer. Um, and then we've managed to get it a little bit higher as well. Okay. Yes. So. You can just do a little bit more framing. Yeah. Um, can we see any wildlife or crowds? So one last thing. Let's see if, see if we, we can get, can get, get away from all the crowd, haven't I? Where are they? Yeah, here some are. up here somewhere. Yeah, on the right there. Around here? Oh, the oh there they are. There, right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Around here. So. Focus. Yeah. So we can now disable crowd. Um, so you can end up with... Uh, there's any take them spectators that are spoiling your shots, we can remove those. Mm -hmm. um, and the same thing uh, for the for the creatures as well. Um, by creatures we mean deers sheep. and sheep yes. and bird. But because so. my immediate assumption <laughs> is like creature effects and things like that, <laughs> which we don't have in this game, obviously. Um, yeah, so, <clears> so <throat> that's that's all the things we've added. Like I say, I'm, I'm really excited to see what the community mm -hmm. comes up with. Um, there's, there's some really cool features that we're already having a lot of fun with um, yes. in the studio. So um, It's yeah. really great. Very great. Thanks for taking us through that, Matt. No worries. Okay. Um, so the next thing uh, that uh, we have on our schedule to take you through here is uh, catching up on the results of the Root Creator competition from uh, last time. So with that in mind, uh, Matt, you want to bring up the um, list of sure. uh, events? So uh, you really went to town on this. We got almost 100 Events yeah, something across. like that. Mm -hmm. It was uh, enough to keep us busy. Yes, absolutely. Through them all. Yes. Uh, but so uh, we've picked some winners, and we'll tell you who the winners are. We'll put them out onto the forums as well. Uh, and we chose four, one for each season. And let's dive into them. Yeah. So at, at, them. at the moment, you'll see it says two talent presents. That's one of our dev gamer tags. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so the way we did this was we, we took them off the production servers, brought them in house, so we could really kind of look at them and, and assess them internally. That's right. And then they were re-uploaded onto so, our dev server here. Uh, do you have the gamer tag of who made this one? Uh, yes, I do indeed. Uh, Water Cycle, uh, which is uh, the uh, summer event, which was an S2 asphalt race, as you can see here. This was created by Sergeant Coffin. So, well done. You great. made a great event. So, let's, uh, let's give it a play. Absolutely. Show it off. And uh, as we play it, uh, we'll talk a little bit uh, about it. So, yeah, um, it was in the S2 class high yes. cars. Um, I, when I was testing this, I, I drove the Senna, which is why I picked it again. Hmm. Uh, it was it's really fun. Um, <coughs> There it is, yes. in a lovely white colour scheme. Okay, so uh, while that's loading, um, let's uh, further indulge our, our Christmas uh, ideas here. So, Matt, you want to? I'm going first, don't I? Yes, go. Okay. Uh, Win it. Okay, so I, yeah. There's stuff in here. You're going to tell us the terrible joke. Oh, I hope so. Don't, don't. Uh, so you got some playing cards. I got some play. I didn't even get nice. a joke. There isn't even a, seriously. The boat so if we don't have any more technical difficulties, yes. it's, 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 it's not even a full pack of cards. No, got. it's not even a full pack of cards. It's like <laughs> some some bad fake cards. Okay, so <laughs> that was uh, right. Hopefully, we'll be more lucky with uh, with the next one. Okay, so we're into the event now. Uh, you want to drive it, and so we yeah, can talk sure, I'd love to. Um, I had an absolute blast playing these. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to switch to. Uh, Bonnet or cockpit cam because mm -hmm. sometimes when I'm watching the, um, <coughs> the the streams, I see a lot of people asking for um, for gameplay in, in these camera views. Right. So um, okay. Um, so if while well, you just focus on driving yeah. a little bit here, uh, I think what really stood out for us with this event uh, that Sergeant Coffin made was that it was a great example of less is more. Uh, a lot of the other Particularly the, the, the summer S2 events were bells and whistles. It was big races through Edinburgh and then way out of the countryside or up and down the highway. Really trying to be too many things at once. And what this event really did was it, it distilled that road racing experience of some nice straights, some interesting corners, some interesting curves and some fast cars. I think, I think that's the key thing, right? It really, um, it really understands the cars that are the, the subject of this race, right? Mm. You're getting these really nice flowing corners. Um, it's really <clears> built for the S2 class as well. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and another nice thing that, uh, that Sergeant Kaufman has done here is, is the way that, uh, that the checkpoints have been placed, right? So they, they drop down far enough ahead that you get a sense of where they are, but because the route is on road, you don't need them dropping every 20 meters to guide you through it because the road is the thing you're following. The checkpoints just need to drop in to tell you where to go, where to turn, and to keep you on the route. Try and uh, pass some of these guys on. Yes. Yeah, I bumped up the difficulty a little bit. I hope I haven't bitten off more than I could chew. Um, yes. Well, he's going for a swim. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's, he's cooked that corner. Um, 
And I, that's one of the things that I really like about the, the way that uh, the driver tars work in Root Creator, because they race it in a way that actually feels a lot like the way people race these things. And without like racification yeah. to keep you on a corner, if you cook it, well, you're going to go flying. And you're going to need to rewind. And it, it, it really feels great. Um, so, uh, Sergeant Kaufman's in chat. Uh, hey, uh, well done. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, so, and, and I mean, this, this stuff here with this technical corner slowing down hard, knocking Oops, guys into sorry, trees mate. if that's what you want to do, uh, and then picking up speed again, it just felt really pleasing to play. Not to say that a lot of the other events uh, that were made were, 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 weren't good, but this one just felt like it really understood the essence of summer racing and did that really well. Oh. He really banged past it. He did. Wow. He had a much better line than I did. Yes. <clears throat> So um, our plan is uh, to take the four winning events and uh, put them live as featured uh, PG Editor's Choice uh, blueprints on the server. And we'll also uh, be taking a number of the events that were created and using them to make seasonal championships. But we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, later when, when Matt isn't uh, desperately trying to, uh, to, to keep the car on the road. OK, so. Um, Do you want to move on to the next yeah, one? Let's perhaps? move on to the next one. All right. Uh, we've seen two laps at this one. Yes. It's, uh, Great. So let's drop out of that one and pull up the next one. Have we got another yes, we uh, do. festive fun for, uh, for the Yes, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll fire that one up once, once the race uh, actually gets <laughs> rolling. So the next one uh, that uh, was worked on was an autumn event. Uh, the theme here was that it was to be a B-class event, and people could kind of choose the bucket that they wanted for that. Uh, so if you just pop into uh, Featured internally and yeah. pull up the Autumn event. So this was by Alta Silencia 11, who made an event called Tangle Trail Modern Rally 5.3, which is a 5.3 mile event, so he's, uh, Tangle Trail yeah. with Modern Rally. So uh, I, I like that name because it, it says what's it says in the tin. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So for this one, we've got the, uh, the Subaru. <clears throat> right. Am I up next? Yes. So uh, you, you guys okay. go this time. <laughs> Yeah. Ready? Oh, well, that was hard effort. <laughs> what have I got? I've got like a little cookie cutter thing. Okay. <laughs> Port race. Um, and, oh, is it a carol or is it? There you go. Okay, right. Uh, yes. Why did the gingerbread man go to the doctor? He Don't was know. feeling crummy. <laughs> okay, pushing on. Okay, so we'll kick this off, uh, okay. and yeah. So what? What I think really sealed the deal uh, for us on this one was the way that this quite long uh, rally route actually explored a lot of the roads and tracks that generally weren't being used by main game events. Yeah. There are a lot of reasons why we, we don't do that in, in the main game, but this uh, particular event here by Alta Silencia really Explores pulled those things, together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I also really like the fact that it was in, in B class, and it, it just goes to show that, that you don't have to go to the top of this too. Absolutely, I think that's that's a that's a good point to make. Like these these slower cars are still super fun to drive in their own way, um, especially when you know, like here, we're going. Uh, down this twisty little dirt mm -hmm. road, and uh, you know you can get a four-wheel drift going. Yes, um, and it's awesome. Really so the, the, the colours work really nicely. It's it's a good pick of, of sky. Uh, there's uh, wetness on the roads. It it just it feels like a, a, a nice experience. Yeah, definitely. What do you think, Matt? I think it's great. I think it's it's just really refreshing to actually kind of start seeing like community using these routes to actually send you to places of the world mm -hmm. there wasn't always a reason to go to. Exactly. Now, that, that point we just went through there is, is an interesting yeah, one I because that say. tight bridge is, is a bit of a risky play uh, because you can get into trouble as you're crossing that. Uh, yep. But the AI handled it nicely here, the driver tars handled it nicely, and the players could also handle it nicely, but you could also be really aggressive as you went into that and mm -hmm. nudge someone into it. But what Alta Silencia did was the checkpoints are actually before and ahead of it. So you could cut it. I think that's something that's worth 
uh, pointed out like, <coughs> that, that has been done well here is that you can always see the next checkpoint. Mm. Absolutely. Um, just over the crest of the hill here, but um, as we come here, bang, mo down mo goes most the next of one. Uh, most of the time you can see where you're going next. Mm -hmm. And some of the some of the choices that uh, some of the routes people made that didn't make it fell foul of this. Like yeah. you you just couldn't see where you were going mm -hmm. next. Yes. Um, or there were checkpoints too close, uh, or, mm. or, or too close to the, the start or the end point, which mm. uh, plays with um, rewind in a, in a really poor way. So if you put a checkpoint just after yeah, a hard right. turn close to the start gantry, mm. and you cook it, you can't rewind because you're too close to the start gantry. Yeah. And it's, there's a real craft to this. And, and of course, uh, we're all still exploring what this feature can do, but this event also did really well on that front. I think I'm, I'm putting up a better fight. I've gotten to the lead <laughs> Yes, you have. this time. <clears throat> It does seem to be a little bit easier to to handle uh, mixed surface. Yeah, that's my so. I, I quite enjoy mixed oh, surface. Oh, it, it, and then we one. cook, and we're done. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yes, we got it. <laughs> that's great. Okay. Um, so, should we step over and take a look at uh, the next event? Can do. I mean, I am two thirds of the way through. Shall we see it okay. to the end? Okay. Let's uh, let's let's see what this looks like all the way I to wanna, the end. I want to get that win. You want to get that win? Oh. I made it, made it, just. Yeah, yes. Unbreaked the Ching was there. there. Cool. So what we're looking at here is a dev build. Uh, just mentioning that because dev mm. builds have stuff in it that isn't uh, ready for uh, public uh, consumption. Uh, and it's kind of a, a fun peek behind the curtains. Uh, we might see little inconsistencies in the game that are not exactly what we're expecting to see. Um, but it's a way for us to show you things that are, that are coming soon. Some of the, some of the narrow checkpoints there, mm. quite uh, tricky. <clears throat> now, interestingly, those, those narrow checkpoints aren't really, they're not necessary from like, a, from like a navigability point of view. They're just there to make certain that you don't bang through the sides of that cattle gate. Mm -hmm. You go through the middle. And that kind of attention to detail is just really, uh, really great. Little chickens jumps. there, chickens. Mm, yep. And right down the end, and a slightly technical stretch here with some curves, but not too much. Is a, a really great thing to have at the end of uh, at the end of a race like this. Obviously, is uh, I love this section as well. A so race to the end. Mm. I'm gonna beep the horn as I go over the line. So we've got some new yes. horns to show off. Are you ready? There you go. Yes. Very nice. Thanks. Very nice. <clears throat> and a first place. Okay. Um, if you just uh, take us through this, uh, I'll uh, tee us up for uh, the third event that we had lined up. Mm -hmm. So this was uh, uh, a winter theme. So we asked people to look for actual off-road in winter and do it in S1. Uh, and some people did try to make things that actually tried to put you into really inappropriate cars that you could then upgrade. And that's, I think, a really interesting gameplay experience. Uh, but we were looking for something that was more immediately approachable. Uh, so uh, points for uh, points for experimentation, mm -hmm. but we were looking for things where, where the cars were like a logical fit for the kind of gameplay that we were mm -hmm. going to take on. So if you just bring up the menu again, and we yep. take a look at winter. Oops. <clears throat> So, so the, next, uh, the next winner here is, uh, if you go take us over That's to PG right. Editor's well, Choice, well, right we are looking for uh, an event called Throwdown in the Snowdown by Vaporizer. So congrats. Drop us into that. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to use uh, <coughs> RJ Anderson's Pro 2 trophy truck. Yes, which is. It's one of my favorite extreme off-road uh, vehicles. Madness. Yeah, it's such a, such a beast. Look at it. Okay, uh, so uh, we must oh, uh, we'll again, yeah. sacrifice ourselves to the, the gods of Christmas Johnny. comedy. Is it me again? Yes. Oh, but three one, times two, three. Right. Go. You need to win one, Matt. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Good. What have we got? Some, nice. <laughs> some, some strange party it's game. Okay. Wings. Okay. okay. Um, it's okay, it's going to take me half this. Okay, the loading screen's over, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. Oh, no. Anyway. Yes. Maybe I've got Okay. <laughs> Throw down in the showdown. Here we Throw go. Throw down in the snowdown. Exactly by uh, Vaporizer, who put up uh, a lot of events actually uh, yes. for this competition. And we played a bunch of them. But so let's go to the third person. This one stood out, I think, because on the one hand, it's in it starts from the Town House location that we all know very very well. Uh huh. Um, but this 
big trucks across uh, white snow with big checkpoints everywhere. It just felt refreshing and fun. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, sometimes our cross-country submissions were not that mm. extreme, but this one was like properly uh, going, you know, across the snowfields here, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yes, but there were so there were other candidates that, that were also really, really promising, but. When you're driving across snow like this, you need to think a lot about the things that are concealed in the snow, like big rocks mm. that can flip your car or really prang you. Mm -hmm. And there were a couple of really promising ones that had great times of day and used the, the, the frozen lake yeah. in some really interesting ways, but there were just too many nasty surprises along the route. Yeah. I like the way that this is actually using <coughs> trees, but not in a way that you have no hope of getting through. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's actually a really nice feature there. Yeah, a few of them just dived into the forest, and it was like, good luck. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, by all means, uh, tune in to the, uh, Fort, uh, the, to the uh, Fortune Island uh, launch stream tomorrow to look at that kind of gameplay. Uh, but really, when you're doing a race, you oh. don't want to force people to have to slow down to race through trees. This is... Yeah, if you can pick a good route through the mm. trees with your checkpoints, exactly. then you're going to give uh, the player a real thrill as they, they feel like um, the sense of speed as they're mm -hmm. wandering through that forest. And a little bit of risk. And yeah. like this particular section yeah, here, yeah. Where all those trees are smashable. So you go through them, and, and it, it, it's really kind of a, a, a thrilling experience in mm -hmm. a huge truck that just plows through trees like mm -hmm. that. And the way that the checkpoints are, are nicely placed to kind of signpost you as you go along uh, just made this stand out for us. Another thing that was interesting with this one is that it's, uh, it's actually a circuit, yep. but it's only two laps. And I think that also kind of points to the fact that sometimes... Yes, yeah, exercise and restraint, right? Exactly. I mean, another thing, almost every event, no, every event that we got for the, the summer one was they were all top of S2. Mm. There was no one who thought, hey, maybe an A-class road race would be a lot of fun, because it is. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this was, this was a really great route. Uh, it's one of the winners. Uh, we'll be featuring it so everyone can go in and play it. Great. Cool. Shall we do the spring one? Let's look at the spring one. Okay. <clears throat> I think I've got that one in the bag. Yes. Okay. Uh, so there's a, a question in the chat about raising the max garage limit. Uh, a fix for that is coming in the new year. We are aware of it. We are working hard on it. It's uh, in test right now because it touches save games and things like that. Uh, we really want to get it right. So uh, as soon as possible in the new year. Any, any other questions? Uh, yes. Um, OK. Again. So <clears throat> final event uh, that we chose. This one was for spring. Uh, and uh, we actually uh, selected an Anything Goes event here because the route and the weather really really opened it up to making a lot of interesting choices. Mm. This one was by Jock in the Box. And he called it, uh, or Jock in the Box called it, Up the Garden Path. So, uh, what kind of car are you going to choose for it? So, I'm going to use a Rally Monster, the Opel Manta, mm -hmm. one of my, my favorite cars of all mm -hmm. time from the Group B era. Uh, it wasn't actually that successful, but um, still really fun to drive in, yes. in, a, in a game. Um, and this uh, is a similar car to what I tested it in yesterday, and I had an absolute blast. It was, okay. it was really fun, um, just throwing it down these right. narrow routes, <coughs> uh, routes and um, throwing the handbrake. Oh, here we go again. Here we go. <laughs> one, two, three, and go. Oh. <laughs> uh, these crackers oh, are a bit... Uh, or, or Didn't really crack, did it? No. Uh, OK, <laughs> so this is a ruler with little shapes on and another party hat. Yeah, we should put the hats on. Yes. Oh, I, yeah, I've already go got a hat on, so I'll put this one over the top of the other hat then. Because... Oh, yes. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Dodge the bullet there, Matt. <laughs> OK. Here you go, there's one here. <laughs> right. OK. Um, Yes. Uh, one thing to mention as we're looking through uh, picking up events here is that we are adding in the ability to search by gamer tag and root name mm. uh, in the very near future. So it will become substantially easier to find and share great stuff. Uh, was, believe me, it's a headache for us as well. <coughs> yes, this one. So what, what I really loved about this was it feels so much like spring. Yes. Notice it's the first one we played that really uh, use precipitation as well yes. like um, really kind of using the, the, the yeah. weather to, to not only give you a feeling of being on, on that kind of mixed surface uh, rally craziness but also just to add some real life and, and, and enjoyment to the world and this corner here that's what we would call a lighting moment 
uh, in a race or, or, or a story when there's just a little fraction of gameplay where the light plays in and does something really evocative. So that's a really good choice. I love the water splashes as well. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And this is also a, a longer route uh, than we would usually make, um, but it's just so much fun banging cars around tight technical corners uh, like these absolutely. on multiple surfaces. It's, yeah, it's another, it's another race that really flows well with the corners. Absolutely. really work together. And again, you've got, the, you've got the checkpoints. You can clearly see which way you're supposed to be going. Mm -hmm. Yes, now, we, can, we can always cook it, but uh, that's just uh, part of the charm. Uh, yes, I, I, I always enjoy that kind of, uh, that, that kind of uh, jockeying that you get as you come out of corners and can maybe pull a cheeky overtake or two, yeah. or three. Um, yes. I really enjoyed this, this hairpin that's coming over here. Mm, so yeah, that one. It sort of line, lines it up by, uh, you see this, this uh, gate here, it's kind of narrow and on the right hand yes, side of the yes. road. And that's a really clever use of that yeah. gate actually, oh, because I, it really I tells totally you. totally barged my way through there. Well, yeah. yeah. Traffic. It's, yes. like, it's like an online race. Yes. Um. <laughs> but so, the, back to the checkpoint, what I really liked about that is it so clearly signposts, you have to go around this tight corner in this way, otherwise you're gonna cook it. That was uh, really quite elegant. And not something that we do at all, because we don't make checkpoints that are that narrow. No. That's good. It's a creative use of checkpoints, so I, I didn't really anticipate really when we put it out. Yes. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's... I mean, it's just great to see the way that people have been embracing what this can do and really, really using it to author and, and craft experiences in a great way. And as, as we mentioned, uh, we'll be featuring uh, the winners uh, here, uh, who are Sergeant Kaufman, Alton Silencia, Vaporizer, and Jock in the Box. They'll be uh, being featured on uh, the live servers when I get back to my desk after this. Uh, and we will also be taking a number of the events that won and putting them into seasonal championships. That's right. Uh, for you guys to enjoy. In Series 5, uh, yes. we'll be making our first <coughs> seasonal championships that feature these community routes. And that's something I hope we can continue going forwards. Yes. Because um, it's like, super exciting uh, for us to be able to like showcase uh, the best creations made by mm -hmm. the community. Yes. Um, and it also just, just keeps things fresh, right? Because yeah. we, we have a set number of routes, and yes, we can explore them and do fun things with, with cars and, uh, and, and, and restrictions, um, but opening the door on creating entirely new routes like this one, for example, and just setting particular car experiences along this. And, and we're almost at the end of it, so let's race this one to the end. Sounds good. I'm having a good battle with this, uh, with this guy. Yes. So um, when I picked the car for yes. this uh, event, because <coughs> it was an Anything Goes mm -hmm. yes. uh, event, we saw a few of the car pass cars yes. that were lined up. Mm -hmm. I'm sure um, our eagle-eyed observers will, uh, will have noticed that. Yes. So um, we should well, talk a bit about that. Absolutely. We have, uh, we have another guest coming on in, in just a few moments uh, to help us talk about cars. Uh, some of you have, have, have seen his driving, uh, but have perhaps not uh, seen the man himself. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Bang past the chickens. Uh, yep, nearly, <coughs> nearly there now on the home stretch. And sure. yes, just up to the gardens uh, through the last section of the road here. Another thing that I liked about this just kind of uh, struck me as we came up through this bit here is it is it's keeping to the roads. It's it's respecting the thing that we said, which is a mixed surface challenge, which implicitly means asphalt and dirt, and it's minimising the, the amount of times that you are that you go properly cross country. So it's just a, just a nice kind of um, understanding of what it is that we were looking for. And then right across the end there and through the finish line. Very nice. Job done. Thank you very much. Great. OK, so uh, those were the results of the uh, Root Creator competition that we ran uh, last season. We'll be setting them live, as I said. And everyone who won, uh, our community manager, will be reaching out to you to get you your sweet, sweet prizes. So uh, now we will be uh, stepping away for a little break, uh, showing you the trailer for uh, our upcoming expansion, Fortune Island. And after that, uh, we will be back uh, to talk about uh, what's coming up in uh, the rest of Series 4, specifically some multiplayer changes, but also talking about the cars and other features that are coming in. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you straight after this.
games play best on Xbox One. Welcome back. That trailer is great. Uh, Super looking exciting. Yes, that upgrade. I've, I've actually been able, because we're, we're working on, on, uh, on the life part of the game, I've actually been able to be quite hands off with it. Mm -hmm. So I haven't played much of it at all. So I'm really looking forward to getting my hands yeah, on it exciting. and trying it out. Yes. Can't wait. Uh, we have another guest uh, with us, uh, Andy. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, Good. So, uh, Welcome aboard. Yeah, thanks very much. So my name's Andy Baranowski, and uh, I'm a level designer. Yes, and we've seen you do some driving as well. Yeah, yeah, thanks very much for the intro. I was uh, worried about how close I might have been becoming to being a, a, a meme or something. So uh, well, it's yes. nice to find it's a, it's, it's a, a sign of success of when you yeah. become a meme or something. But, uh, uh, yeah, for for those of you who somehow maybe don't know who Andy is, uh, you do a lot of like the, the, the high precision driving that we do in our videos yeah. and events. Yeah, it's uh, something, you know, I have to try and make it as... Uh, you know, <coughs> repeatable as possible, yes. as accurate as possible. Uh, so uh, that's really good fun to do. I really enjoy doing that, mm -hmm. sort of choreographing that. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, I suppose that's not the capacity that I'm here in no. today. No. It's about being a major car nerd. <coughs> so, uh, which, is, which is great, a real head. <laughs> yeah, really, really looking great. forward to this. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of the new stuff uh, that we're putting into Series 4 uh, and starting off with addressing uh, some changes to multiplayer. So the first thing that I'd just like to mention is that, uh, as we said, uh, we are in the launch uh, stream window for uh, Fortune Island. There'll be a stream about that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Immediately after that will be a um, to monthly stream over from Turn 10. Mm -hmm. Mike Brown will be there. You can and see he's Karina. not with us here. And, and uh, Retro Crystal will be there as well. And uh, he will be touching on a couple of other multiplayer changes that we're making. But for now, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how you sign up for multiplayer events. Because in the game, as it chipped, we had kind of the 40 seconds of doom in which you could sign up for an event. Uh, and that was, uh, that was not really what we wanted. Mm -hmm. We made a change to that. And I'd like to show you how it works. Yeah. So <clears throat> if I could ask you to set up an event. So the, there's a, a bit of, of honor at stake. It's game design yeah. versus level design. Yes. Uh, we're going to do a multiplayer event. And um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm up against the mighty Andy B. I, I don't know what you've got to be worried about. I feel I've caught on myself a little bit with the car <laughs> selection here, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. okay. So, um, if you... so I need to get online. Yes. Let's go. So that we can actually get into the match together. Yes. So uh, the change that we made here uh, was uh, essentially to look at the way that people sign up for events. So in the game, uh, as you can see it now uh, in live, uh, when you sign up for an event, you basically uh, go into white space and you wait for the uh, event to sign up uh, and other players to find it and join it, which uh, may succeed or may not. Uh, and it wasn't really a great experience. You spent a lot of time kind of going in and out of, of white space that we really wanted to change. So it is a dev build, and I think we've hit upon a slight technical hitch. Um, so if you bear with us at one minute, we'll, uh, we'll just try and <laughs> sort out what's going on here. OK. Uh, if we can't get this uh, sorted immediately, we'll push on to something else and then uh, swing back to it. OK. OK. Um, so uh, the particular change that we made was explicitly so that you're not stuck in white space while you're waiting to sign up mm. for an event. Uh, we take you back uh, into the world and let you play. Uh, I tell you what, we, we mentioned the car list, yep. the car pass earlier. Mm -hmm. um, shall I hand over the controller to you, Andy, and you can talk us <laughs> well, through we, the car pass? We can have a flick through, yeah, and, yeah, okay. uh, and chat Let's about some that. of these cars. All right. Okay, right, have we got them all? If I pass you that. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so uh, let's start off with a couple of... Uh, American Bruises uh, right, coming in Series yes. 4. So these are part of the Series 12 car list, which consists of some car pass cars? Yeah, some car pass cars, some reward cars. Mm -hmm. uh, these two that we've got under uh, Chevrolet are both uh, the car pass cars. Mm -hmm. uh, so first car that we've got is the uh, Corvette ZR1. Uh, this is an absolutely awesome car. I'm going to jump in this, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to let Matt just do some... Uh, a little bit of drifting around. Sure, yeah, why not? Yeah, so uh, it's absolutely savage. It's uh, 750 horsepower, an LT5 supercharged V8 engine. I know that uh, our car handling designer, Chris, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's gotten quite into his muscle cars over his years here. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's lavished a uh, you know, special bit of attention on these, uh, on sure, these Chevys. Go. Yeah, this okay. is, I mean, this is uh, Chevrolet's, you know, like real uh, supercar, their, uh, you know, most prestige model. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got awesome aero on it. So this has got the uh, ZTK, uh, that, that big carbon fiber spoiler on the back mm -hmm. of it and all the aero additions onto it. Uh, I mean, it's, it is super, super fast. Uh, and doesn't it look awesome as well? So uh, amazing. Yeah, I really think fun to drive. There, yeah, people are going to be able to do some awesome stuff with this. It's uh, quite, a, well, quite a contrast, isn't it? The, the bright orange paintwork mm -hmm. uh, in the white of winter. 
Uh, so that's beautiful. cool. And uh, you might have noticed the other car in Chevrolet as well was the uh, Camaro uh, ZL1 LE or mm -hmm. ZL1, I suppose, oh, wow. depending uh, which side of the Atlantic we're on. Uh, so that is a super, super track focused uh, version of the Camaro. Uh, so that has an LT4 uh, supercharged V8 engine, 650 horsepower. That thing uh, spent a lot of time at the uh, legendary Nürburgring which uh, I would love to do as well, spend a lot of time at the Nürburgring. <laughs> oh, yes. um, when you're yes. not stuck here making great racing games. I know, right, but um, yeah, so that, that laps around faster than a hell of a lot of supercars, um, you know, like uh, faster than 911s. Uh, that is a really, really serious bit of kit, and it is a real enthusiast car as well. There's loads of bits of the suspension that's adjustable, like mm -hmm. the front camber, you can adjust the anti-roll bars. Uh, again, that's got like amazing aero on it with the, uh, the big dive planes and canards on the front and the big spoiler on the back. Uh, so that is a really, really cool car, and I think that's going to be a, a really, really good fun car to drive uh, in the Horizon world. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good little uh, I have, a, I have a question for you uh, from Chad. Uh, okay. Uh, the Blue Anchor asks, where did you get your jumper from? Ah, oh, this is a bit of a, a Christmas vintage one. I've, I've had it so many years, I can't <laughs> actually remember where I bought it from. Right. So very sorry uh, that okay. I can't answer that question accurately. Right. Uh, <laughs> the cupboard from uh, a while ago is the answer. Um, Okay, uh, okay. So, so what right. else do we have? There we go, so that's two car pass cars done. Yep. I'll not uh, jump into that one because we took photographs of it earlier. Yeah, on. yeah. Uh, so next one along, Citroen DS3 Racing. I like this. This is a bit of uh, a throwback for me for uh, Horizon 1. It's a super cool little nippy front wheel drive hot hatch. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love it. It's got super little graphics on it that I think are really okay. cool. And the black and orange combo is, uh, is really cool as well. So uh, it's nice to see that back. So uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, how that's going to be uh, well, that was acquirable. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it looks, looks really sporty. I like it. Yeah, it's a cool little car. Right, what have we got next? Um, okay, yeah. Yes. That's cool. um, right, uh, so there's a, something that we just like to touch into really quickly, uh, which is uh, wall riding, obviously. Okay, uh, yeah. And we're working on an update uh, for how we handle uh, wall riding in online games. Uh, and so uh, we will be talking to you more about that as soon as we know something more. It won't be an update five, but soon after that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very hot topic upstairs. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, with all the level designers and, and you guys as well, especially. Yes. It's something that we really want to address that we feel is, uh, is particularly important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For, you know, maintaining that fun experience that mm -hmm. everyone wants to have whilst they're playing online. Yes. Okay, okay right, car. so I saw the next one along. <coughs> I'm Ferrari, pretty sure yeah. it was the Ferrari, wasn't it? The, uh, the GCC Lusso. Oh, look Amazing. At that. That's awesome, yeah. So this is the replacement for the uh, Ferrari FF uh, bringing mm -hmm. out. Mm. Uh, so Ferrari's pitch on it, I suppose, is that it's meant to be the Ferrari that you use every day. Uh, <laughs> if ever there was a Ferrari, you know, to use every day, uh, that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yes. It, um, uh, so it's an uh, amazing car. It's a V12, so it's got that amazing house of the engine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's four-wheel drive as well, uh, and it's got this amazing layout where it's got some of the transmission in front of the engine, some of it behind. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's actually, bonnet, yeah, yeah, it's got an amazing, uh, amazingly long wheelbase when you look at it. But it's uh, it's a hatchback, so you could chuck all your shopping in the back of it. Uh, right, so it's a it's a practical family yeah, yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, four proper seats in it. Yeah, so theoretically you could use it, you know, every day. But uh, that, this is uh, this is a really good car, especially for winter. I think uh, you've got this for our little head to head. If uh, if we can get if it, if we can get it working out yeah. well, so uh, I'm in trouble here. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we have another question from uh, chat. Tom from Norway, which is uh, apparently Tom from Norway. Oh yeah. Uh, asks uh, when is Fortune Island live? Fortune Island is live tomorrow from uh, 6 p.m. GMT. Uh, tune in because we'll have a launch day live stream uh, from the studio, uh, where we will be playing uh, and showing off all kinds of really fun stuff that's in that. Cool, cool. let's uh, jump on to the, the next car. Yes. Okay, yeah. What else we got? All right, what's the next one? Oh, no, we go back a bit. Oh, we've, got, we've got that Yeah, we missed there. some really exciting ones, yeah. actually. Uh, so this is uh, Ken Block's uh, RS200s, uh, legendary uh, Group B car there. Uh, Ken Block, a man of awesome tasting cars, you have to say. Uh, it is a very nice car. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a, a special place for, well, for me, because it's where I, it was developed where I grew up oh, uh, right. in Essex. Okay. Right. And also uh, a special place for Torben, I know, because you spent a lot of time researching it. Yes, for, yes, uh, for British Racing Green. Uh, we actually have the RS1800 and the RS200. So it's a stock, R or a semi-stock RS200. Yeah. Uh, not this. No, Ken Block's one, very much not stock. This yes. is a 700 horsepower Look monster. Look at the speed of this. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, the car handling guys have really pushed the uh, limits with uh, what you can tune this up to in the PI. So uh, if you can get your hands on this, uh, see what you can do with it, I suppose. Absolutely. See how much uh, power you can get out of it. 
Uh, the, uh, the livery to note on it is mm -hmm. uh, Ken's little uh, nod towards the factory racing colours that they had. They had that same mm -hmm. uh, design, but with a blue and white colour scheme. Yeah, and it's, it's just absolutely savage. Fantastic car. We have uh, another question uh, from chat. Uh, Lazy Data asks uh, when we will be increasing the saved tune cap. Uh, we will be increasing that as part of the garage and UGC increase in the new year. Uh, as we said, uh, it's in test. We want to make sure we get it right. Uh, we'll keep you updated uh, via all the usual channels uh, as we know more about that. But we're definitely working on it. It's not just cars, it's uh, tunes and all the other Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very important. I know a lot of people spend a lot of time with those. Okay. Um, <clears throat> why don't we uh, bring up the uh, seasonal uh, overview, talk a little bit about that, um, and then uh, see if we can get uh, the oh, last good jump. That is. Look at that. Is he going to clear it? Yes. <laughs> good job. Very nice. Yeah. I think I'm out of a job. I think you might be doing more <laughs> of the driving. Okay. Okay. So, um, update four, which includes uh, Fortune Island. Uh, basically, uh, the format, as uh, we've seen it before, uh, consists of four seasons with a range of activities across uh, all of the seasons. Uh, as you can see up on the screen, we're, we're basically taking uh, the... Um, cars and the other updates and slotting them into more places than just the Forza Thon shop. Matt, maybe you'd like to talk just a little bit about that uh, while that's going on? Uh, sorry, I was driving. I missed that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if, if you take a look at the queue up screen down there uh, and talk a little bit about what we've got oh, in sorry. the various seasons. Right, yeah, okay. Um, summer, uh, yeah, our, our, our trial event is called Holidays Are Coming mm -hmm. um, because you'll be doing some truck racing. And if ever you've seen real life truck racing, mm -hmm. uh, it's super exciting, super fun. Um, they're all over the mm -hmm. all over the track. So um, that was kind of the inspiration um, that I used for coming up with that seasonal championship. Sometimes they start with lo looking at um, what the community's opinion is yep. on uh, on our current series. So we look at the response we've been getting to mm -hmm. series three, and then uh, we take that feedback and we shape it a little bit into uh, what's coming up. Um, my favourite seasonal championships that are coming up are, are in autumn, I think. We've got one called uh, Rotor Club, which is um, a celebration of the, the rotary engine, which is 90 years old. It was invented 90, 90 years, years ago. Um, and that was an interesting little bit of trivia that sparked some inspiration for us to design a, a, a seasonal championship around, um, around the rotary uh, uh, for the you want number 13 for, okay. um, for the autumn. Uh, so Torben's just loading into uh, that season. Mm -hmm. yep, so we can take a look at it. Yeah. Um, and, <coughs> yeah, it's going to show off the, uh, the uh, reward screen. Yes. Um, so you can see a little bit mm -hmm. of a taste of what's coming up. So, yeah, it talks about the, the Rotor Club. There it is, the, the championship that we designed. Um, this event is a celebration of Mazda's RX lineage. So it's the RX uh, cars um, built by Mazda that all feature a rotary engine. Um, mm -hmm. We've heard that the R might stand for reindeer. Okay. <laughs> I, I think that's just great that the R stands for reindeer. Yeah. Um, really quick, there's a question here about uh, DLC uh, and seasonal championships. So what we're talking about here is, is part of the main game. This is for everyone, yes, whether or not you right, have yeah. uh, Fortune Island. So there will be seasonal championships on mm -hmm. Fortune Island. Uh, as well, those will be additional seasonal, cha uh, seasonal right, championships. That's yeah. right, and we'll talk about that more yes. tomorrow. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can you can see there we've got another seasonal championship called Bring Me a Dream. Mm -hmm. Features the Holden Sandman, and you'll be able to win the elf suit and hat from that uh, that we we took a, la a look at earlier on. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, another little thing that's also a really great thing is now we actually bring up the name of the seasonal championships. That's right. Yeah. So we're trying to improve. Um, where we can, and some of the feedback that I mentioned mm -hmm. before, we noticed um, players were getting lost when it came to the map. They couldn't tell which seasonal championship was which, mm -hmm. and then they couldn't uh, find out where to get the nice rewards we were putting in the game. Okay. So, yeah, if you hover over another one, um, you can see no over one of the championships. There sorry, we go. Uh, uh, yeah. championship. There yeah, we yeah. Go. Um, you can see it's a seasonal championship rotor club. So that's the Mazda one I was talking about, and also we've got a PI class. Uh, restriction that's a range there, so you can take a car in from D100 up to A800. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a new thing we're trying out for, for Series 4 as well. Cool. And it means that when you when you go to the event 
uh, you've got a great uh, range yeah, yeah. of cars that mm -hmm. you can choose from um, mm -hmm. at the beginning. They're not all being filtered out by just a specific class. Okay. So yeah, we're trying to make improvements. Okay. Can, so. And you want to, uh, are there any of them that we could take a look at? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. But, well, we've <coughs> already talked about this one. Let's, uh, okay. let's go take a look at it. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, just want to mention that uh, there's a Fortune Island uh, li uh, launch stream at PG uh, tomorrow followed by uh, Forza Monthly over from Turn 10 and our very own Mike Brown and Richard Crystal, who are in the chat right now. Hey there, uh, you guys are up early or late or something, I, I don't know. Uh, they'll be live uh, from Turn 10 <laughs> to, uh, to answer all of your multiplayer questions and generally talk about hey, great stuff. Oh yes, Rotor Club. I mean. So here we go, this is... Um, uh, Okay, thanks, Kira. Uh, this is the, the, the campaign slot menu, we call yes. it. And you can see there, we've got the reindeer antlers, reindeer mm -hmm. nose, uh, 15,000 credits all up for grabs and solo. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's jump out. So an interesting things. thing to, to keep in mind about the way those rewards work is that they are cumulative. Yes. 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 You, you, you place, as you complete them, you get all of, you get the rewards and all of the subsequent, all of the lower level rewards. Uh, I know mm -hmm. there was a question about the uh, racing cup, about it didn't, doesn't seem to be giving all that much money. Well beat all the challenges, and then it does actually give right. a lot of money. So uh, we prepared a car earlier. Um, this is one we prepared earlier. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, we've got the, the Mazda RX-7 Spirit yes. R. What an amazing car this was back in the day. Still is. Um, I feel as though like the petrol heads among the fans will know like what a rotary engine is. Yes, but for, for your average person who might not know or is at least familiar with a piston engine, there mm -hmm. are other ways you can design an engine and this is radically different from your yes. standard piston engine. Like, yes, there are uh, no pistons in this no. engine. It has no. uh, these convex triangular shaped yes. blades that spin, um, yes. that spin no. around the central crankshaft. And oh, yes, the, yes. Um, yeah, it, it compresses the fuel against the, the crankcase and you get the uh, same ignition as, as with a standard engine, but you know, because there's so few reciprocating parts, mm -hmm. they're very well balanced, run very smoothly, and, and they're it capable makes a of- magical noise. They yes. They make a great noise. Yeah, they are capable of extremely high RPM. Um, and Mazda used this design to great success over the years. I think they won Le Mans back in 1991 it's... with the 787B, uh, which was such a phenomenal prototype mm -hmm. racing car, just screaming down the Mulsan straight with this um, incredible sound, as, as, uh, as you already mentioned. Uh, just a, a couple of points really quickly. Uh, we're running uh, giveaways for the game uh, on uh, at We Are Playground on Twitter and on Instagram at We Are Playground Games. Uh, so jump on that. And tomorrow's stream will also be giving out expansion passcodes. So uh, turn up for that to, to get yourself some, some sweet, sweet free Fortune Island. A reminder that uh, the update is going live tomorrow with Fortune Island, so that will be um, the uh, photo mode changes that will primarily go in with that. The multiplayer uh, changes as well will go in with the, up, with the expansion tomorrow. The seasonal content that we're looking at here, that goes live next Thursday uh, with the season change. Cool. Uh, we have another question from chat, which is uh, any chance that the seasonal championship rewards will ever be acquirable in other means after the season has ended? The short answer to that is yes. The longer answer to that is we're not ready to talk about that yet, but we have a plan. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, if you want to uh, just uh, finish this off, you're almost at the end of it. Yeah, um, it's uh, Princess Street Garden circuit, very technical. Yes, uh, track. yes, that. Uh, I mean, we were talking earlier today about how, how well this captures Edinburgh, mm -hmm. weren't we? Like, I've, I've only been to Edinburgh the one time. Yes. Um, and it is such a beautiful city that it's stuck in my memory. And then when I, when, we, when I played it for the first time in our game, I was mm -hmm. really blown away by uh, how well they'd, uh, they, they'd ca captured the essence of the mm -hmm. city. I mean, uh, we have an LD right here, so oh, well done for that. <laughs> yeah, um, on behalf of my team, I'll yes, say that, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, uh, I've spoken to people, you say, that have, have been to Edinburgh, and they'll say, oh, such and such is, you know, is just around the corner in real life, mm -hmm. and you drive around the corner and and there it is. Um, if you want to uh, just uh, jump out of this, uh, I will bring up the uh, overview of uh, the seasonal uh, rewards, so we can right. just talk through those uh, really quickly. Really enjoying mm -hmm. this, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, if you just aim in through those pop up headlights, right. it's so good. Okay, so uh, as you can uh, see there, um, summer, autumn, winter, and spring across uh, the uh, festive uh, period. Um, and uh, maybe you just want to just 
touch in on some of the some of the key highlights on that? Uh, yeah. So as you can see there, um, I already mentioned the uh, uh, the summer seasonal uh, trial with the Santa outfit. Uh, we've got the Mosler MT uh, 1900S, an incredible car. It's a homologated special, isn't it? I think. It's, just, right? a, it's just a mad supercar from America. Yeah, it's yeah. A... And uh, the the Hudson Hornet as well. The fabulous Hudson Hornet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, really, the the only thing to to say here at the end is, as as we start to wrap this up is really, I mean. I'm really looking forward to the kinds of things that we're going to be able to bring into the game oh, as a part years. of the uh, as, as a part of future years. updates. <laughs> yes. Yes. Poor taxi. <laughs> yes, poor taxi. It sounded about right. To yeah. Right, so if you want to take that over, sure. I mean, do you want to tell us a little bit about the uh, the taxi? Well, that's the only way that taxis are driven, in my it's experience, crunch, isn't it? Crunch, crunch. On, on the rev limits all the way around. It's yes. not the uh, the fastest of uh, machines. No, no, it absolutely isn't. Uh, classic, so I mean, isn't how, how fast do you think we could make something like this go? I don't know. In the real world, I think you're probably struggling to uh, break the motorway speed limit. But <laughs> I suppose this isn't the real world, is it? This is the no, world of Horizon. No, no, it isn't. So, and, uh, uh, it's possible that something like this could pick up and drop off passengers yeah. uh, very, very, very quickly in um, possibly a future update. <laughs> That's it. It is rear wheel drive. Yes, well, so. absolutely. <laughs> OK, so um, as we uh, leave uh, this iconic black taxi in Edinburgh, um, just to, just to recap, uh, this is a Series 4 content that we've been looking at here. Uh, the uh, Fortune Island expansion uh, goes live tomorrow. Uh, the, the actual seasonal content that you've seen here goes live on Thursday on the...